Mike. Mommy. Don't you think you're forgetting to tell me something? I don't think so. You think... Michael! You have not told me about the girl I saw in your house the last time I visited you in Lagos. <laughs> okay, mommy. You're always very inquisitive. I know. Well, her name is Shade. A very, very good friend of mine. Ah. And we intend to get married. To marry that girl? Don't you think she's too old for you? Besides, she's not from our tribe. And I bet you don't even know a single thing about the history of her family. Mike, why don't you come down here and marry from, from a family we know very well? You cannot cope with the demands of intertribal marriage. Mom, I thank you for your concern. But I want you to understand that age and tribal differences are no longer considered these days in marriage, Mom. The only vital consideration is love. Mommy, I love this girl and she loves me. In a way, I have made up my mind and there's no going back, period, Mom. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. We have gotten somebody for you and you must marry her. problem with my mother. Problem? I hope it's not too bad. Somehow it is. 
I told her about her plans to get married. She revolted and ordered me to come down to the village and pick somebody. You can't believe it. She already has somebody in mind. Honey, it's one of those things. I believe we're passing through trial periods. You're also aware of the fact that my own parents are also opposed to our union. So, let's leave all to God. Huh? But, is it not high time they realize that gone were the days when parents chose my partners for their kids? Whatever you say, just relax. I'll take these things up and um, I'll be back to serve your meal. Hmm? Oh, they're fine. What of Mama? Mama is fine. Good. And how is the office? Well, we received a call from our Taiwanese man. And what was the point? Well, they say that we shouldn't expect the goods, you know, in a week's time. We should expect it in one month. <sighs> what kind of problem is this? Uh, why the delay? This girl has confused my son, and she's not trying to bewitch him. I can't let that happen. I will not let it happen. Baba, what I want you to do for me is to seal up her wound so she can never, never be pregnant. Under the bed where your son and the girl sleeps. Do you hear me? Yes. You can go. That woman is a witch, Mama. Mm -hmm. I'm very sure she's up to some mischief. We must not allow her to succeed. She must leave my son. Of house. course! I cannot sit down and fold my hands 
and watch her bewitch my son. Emeka, huh? there is something I want you to do for me. What is it, Mama? We. Oui. Bring your hand. Bring your hand. No, no. You left. You see this stone? I want you to put it under the bed where my and that witch sleep. And you must do it as soon as you get to the box. Under their bed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our most heavenly Father, most merciful Father, we give you thanks and praise. We glorify your name. We just thank you for our lives. We thank you for the shelter. We thank you for the food. I believe in the victory of good over evil. I have faith in the power of God over the devil. Trials and temptation try to turn my life around. And even those I love try to put me down. But God will never abandon.
nice good mom, nice good mom. Uh, yes, with children, you're having your nice breakfast. Oh, honey, I just have to feed you immediately. Don't you have your breakfast? No, I can't wait. I'm a little bit behind schedule. But I got a flight leaves 8 a.m. Uh, tell the maker to drop the kids in the school. The driver is taking me to the airport. Okay. Chade, there's this thing I've been wanting to tell you. Um, don't you think it's better you find something doing rather than idle away in the house? At least your husband is well off. All you need is to ask him to open an outfit for you. An outfit? Yes. <laughs> Tessie, what have I not done to convince him about this? He's always telling me it's a waste of time, you know. He'll rather place me on salaries than allow me to work. And you agreed with him? What do I do? Oh. I mean, when he says there's enough money and there's no need for me to suffer. Hmm. Well, that's for you, Sean. What's the wine thing about? What's this big surprise? <laughs> I have a very big surprise for you. <laughs> now, come out with this big surprise. Well, my husband said I'll be leaving finally for the years with the kids next month. You don't mean it. You know we won the U.S. visa lottery last year. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. I'll miss you too. But don't worry. We'll keep in touch. I'll you. tell my husband to get us a visa so we can come visit you on That would be wonderful. Let's have this wine, please. That's why I brought it. Now we must have this That's why I brought it. I told you there's a big surprise for you. This is a new girl. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I can't wait. It's just great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. 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 So I'll make a toast. All right. This is to you, my friend, Tessie. I wish you a good time and a proper settling down in the States. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the documents. Mm. The certificate of occupancy of my residential accommodation. I see. And uh, the certificate of incorporation of my company. That's okay. All right. Um, you will collect the loan next month. Yeah. Uh, before then, we must have completed the necessary formalities. It's a pleasure. Come on, there. I'm good. All right. Take care of this. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. All right.
I see. Favor Mr. Ajibade earned a total of 15,000 naira in the previous year. What was his monthly salary then? Do you understand the question? The previous year is, I mean, like last year. So how much was his monthly salary? How would you work that? Um, say 15,000 divided by 12, 12. Why? Why 12? Because there are 12 months in a year. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, now you know that. I want you to go and work it out and let me have the answer. Yes, so, um, what was the last question I asked you? Okay, I was going to ask one more question. Um, Richard, where was the barrel that I gave to you? I can't use your bag. Okay, have this. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> Okay, um, what's the capital of Nigeria? Abuja. Hmm, that's my boy. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Yes, this is his residence. We tried our best to resuscitate him, but um, he, he gave up to me. Shut up! Oh, my God! We tried our best. Oh, no! No, before you go. Eh? You have killed my son with your witchcraft. But I will not let you succeed this time. You have to pack all your belongings and get out of this house. Mama, did I hear you right? Her belongings? Mm -hmm. Which belongings? This wicked witch killed Mike to inherit all the wealth and you are encouraging her. She doesn't have a pill in this house. Look here, woman. I am going out of this place. And by the time I come here, and you are still here, I will show you! Well, Uncle, where do you want us to go? Shut up! Your mother is a witch! This is my husband's house. And no one has the right to eject me for any reason. Mama, don't worry. Just stay here. Let me go and come back. Huh? Then I'll show you. Mama, wait for me here. Wait, 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 wait.
This property now belongs to these two gentlemen. Mm -hmm. What property? Hi, guys. Dislodge them. Mm -hmm. Immediately! Leave my son! Good afternoon, sir. Mm, good afternoon. What did you define? Uh, I saw that advertisement there. I want to see the people inside, sir. Uh, go inside, go see, madam. the advertisement, ma. I came to see if you can consider me, ma. Yeah. Yes, ma. I see. Can you cook? I can cook very well, ma. Very, very well. Yes, ma. You are sure? Yes, ma. <laughs> because we supply food to five different office canteens in this city. So we need very experienced and committed people. Are these your children? Yes, ma. No problem, ma. We don't allow our cooks live outside these premises. Because we have to wake up early and prepare for the day. Are you sure you can do that? I can do it very well, ma. <sighs> okay. Come tomorrow, eh? Come and start tomorrow. I'll give you one week, sir. After that, if I'm satisfied, I'll formalize your paper. Eh? Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank, thank you very much. <laughs>
My son, I have a mother, but she won't accept us. But no, why? She now that I married your father. They wanted me to marry someone for my friend. Only we can't stay here. It's just as dangerous as it can. My dear, don't worry. Nothing will happen to us. The Lord will protect us. I still have some little money with me. I'll take you both to school tomorrow. Huh? Try and sleep. Remember to do that thing before I get back. Oh, mm -hmm. no problem, Mom. I will. And, Charles. Yes, Mom. I'll give you the money for the exam when I get back. Okay, Mom. I'm leaving for the market now. Please tidy up this room before I get back. No problem, Mom. Bye bye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. I don't think I'll further my studies after my secondary school. Why do you feel so? It's just what I'm paying for her mother. She has suffered so much for her education. And I'm sure she has gone to borrow for your exams. Oh no, Charles. No, Charles. I must go into business as soon as I finish my studies. So you can help her. You correct, Richard. But I still want to further my studies. Let's pray God should help us out of this situation.
Me chao. Why do you decide to be lost now? Oh, is it not you that told me? You don't want to join business in order to assist her mother. Richard. <laughs> May your soul rest in perfect peace till we need to part no more. <laughs> I promise I'll never let you down. I'll never allow her mother to suffer as long as I live. Watch this one now. All right. Uh, tell my driver that I will be downstairs in a minute and get the car ready. Yes. Yeah? She has been very good to me. Hmm? Hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure she won't have any problems with, with, with me taking. Uh... Good afternoon. Uh, how are you? Good, good day. Good afternoon. Ah, Charles. Ah, oh, you are so big now. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Yes. Hey, <laughs> welcome. Eh? Thank you. I learned you've gotten a job. Yes, ma. Um, the fire company that I served, they retained me after my youth service. Oh, and uh, nice. God has been very, very nice to me. Too. Oh, I'm happy for you. Um, I actually also came to thank you for all the good things that you've been doing for us, especially my mom. Uh, and to also tell you that now that I have my own place, um, I've come to take my mother away so she can live with me if you don't mind and um, i would like to do that today no problem i can't hold your mother huh? although it would be very hard for me to see somebody like her again no problem madam i'll come in from time to time to help out mm. Whatever. I will. I'll pray for you. Thank you. Huh? 
God be with you. Hmm? Look after your mother. I will. Thank you. Huh? Yes. God bless you. I want to just take out the divorce project to help her. No problem. Up. No problem. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Just call the boys. They will help you, eh? Okay, ma. No problem. Ah. left now and you are not getting any younger yes. I want you to start thinking of getting married <laughs> if I say no, no. Funny. <laughs> what is funny you know I'm laughing see I had actually concluded yes that I was going to um, look for a convenient time to tell you that I've actually found somebody that I think I'll be able to get married to. And here you are, coincidentally telling me about the same thing. Hmm? Well, thoughts, they say, really do have wings, eh? Yes, <laughs> they do have wings. It's a good thing you have the same thought in mind. Mm. But how well do you know her background and what is her name? Well, her name is Funke. She's Yoruba. I met her in school and she's nice. She's pretty. She's warm. She's homely. She's just, she's just nice. Well, I like her. Well, if you say so. When am I meeting her? I'll bring her during the week. It's okay. Princess Bikana, why are you late? Why did you keep this meeting waiting? 
sorry, Your Highness. I had an appointment with a man. Which man? His name is Charles. He's proposing to marry me. Marry who? You? <laughs> you dare not disobey our standing orders. How dare you want to marry another man when you know you already have a husband here? I, I do not intend to disobey you, Your Highness. It's just that this man, Charles, is very important to us. He is the son of Shadi. Shadi, that rebel. She left us many years ago to join the so-called born-again Christians in order to thwart our plans. alone. We can give you an assistance. You wouldn't have to bother, Your Highness. I have everything under control. As soon as I succeed in penetrating Charles, Shadi is gone. <laughs> You will have to excuse me. Somebody is knocking. You can go. Go! Go! I'm sorry, I was sleeping. Just you're knocking, I just woke you here. I didn't know anybody was in. Why don't you just make yourself comfortable? No, it's okay. I, I'm actually in a little bit of a rush. Right. Um, I came to find out what your schedule is like tomorrow because I want to take you to see my mom. Why, is anything wrong? No, no. Um, we were talking a few days ago and she suggested marriage. And I said I already had somebody. <laughs> Charles, are you serious? Yes, I am. Oh, God, man. <laughs> oh, I can't make it tomorrow. Why? I 
have to go to the village. I have to go see my parents for something very important. So when when will you be free precisely? Uh, see, what about next month? Is that all right by you? All right. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I'm so busy. Happy. <laughs> so. All right. Um, I'll. Um, Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come. Aren't you even going to stay? I mean, let me just get some. No, no, it's okay. I, I need to rush to work. Oh. <laughs> so I'll, I'll come. So uh, aren't you going to wish? Oh, okay. Safe journey. Safe journey. Safe journey. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Take care of yourself. Yes, Your Highness. You have one more assignment for me before you marry that man. I want you to get me two male organs for an urgent ritual. You can get them as soon as possible. As you Go and get me five or nine. Oh, darling, there you are. I'm looking for a So soon? Yes, I got an urgent call for an emergency board meeting. How long are you going to stay? Uh, it depends on the outcome of the meeting, but shouldn't be more than two or three days. That means you have to leave behind some money. I want to go to school on Friday to check on our daughter. You must just see that girl every day. And besides, I don't have any money here with me. Look, everything has to wait till I get back, okay? But Lawrence, you... Lawrence! Myself. Do you care for a ride? I don't mind. Okay, come in, come in. Ah, 
Let me introduce myself. I am Chief Lawrence, and what do I call you? Priscilla. Priscilla. Oh, that's a lovely name. Thank you. Oh, you look so tired. Why don't you let us take a rest somewhere and have a drink? Oh, Chief, I think I'm ready to go. Oh, don't worry. I'll drop you in the myself. Huh? <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
How are you? I'm den 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 den. Oh, ah, I heard you travel to the village. Oh yes, I did. Ma. How are your people? Oh, very ma, thank you. Hmm, you're welcome. Thank you. Ah. Mama, let me take her upstairs and then I'll, I'll come back. Talk to you. Okay. Go and rest, eh, yes, my dear. Okay. I hope she's a good Christian. Well, she's a Christian, but hey, nobody can be as good a Christian as you are, Mama, not by your standards. One more thing. I hope you have been able to find out more about her family background. Well, um, not much, uh, to be sincere, but... Um, I'll get around to that, but her father is dead, mm. and um, her mom lives in the village. That's, that's it. Poor girl. So, she lives all alone here in Lagos? Yes. Call her, let's pray. Oh, mm. Mama, let's, let's leave her alone. I'm sure she's sleeping already. It's, it's late. Okay then, let us pray. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I just thank you for the life of your son, Charles. Yes, Father. Lord, I please humbly I present him to you. Father, I thank you for the life of your daughter who just came in. Oh, yes, Lord. Lord Almighty, I come against any negativity. Yes, Lord. I come against every contrary spirit. I will rebuke and bind in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father in heaven, because you have said, oh, yes, Lord. Is founded here on earth, so it is founded in heaven. Oh, yes, Lord. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus on every life in this house. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus on the life of my son, oh, Charles. Yes, on the life of your son, Charles. Yes, Lord. For the anything yes, that will be a stumbling block. Father, I bind it and cast it off in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
thought you'd slept. How can I sleep without you? to be experiencing in this house. Queen Mother warned me. Just a little bit of me. Just a little bit of me. Just a little bit of me. I can't really understand what is happening to me these days. How come that for more than a month now my mother has been pursuing me in dreams with herself, trying to kill me each time? But my mother is a fervent Christian. Why must she try to kill her only son? I guess something must be wrong somewhere. No. I cannot subscribe to the view that my mother is a witch, as suggested by Funke. I think I have to go to the village and consult a native doctor before the situation gets out of hand. Yes, that's what I'll do.
dream? Yes. What kind of bad dream? Well, the dream... The dream is a little bit confusing. For about a month and a half now, I've been having these similar dreams where my mother would be pursuing me with a cutlass in her hands, each time trying to kill me. I see. My son, count yourself lucky. You would have been dead by now. Your mother is a witch. What? She has been trying to kill you all this while. But you keep escaping. She is hell bent on achieving that objective. Your father and your younger brother are dead. Is that not true? Yes. She killed him. If you do not send her out of your house, you will die like them. My own mother? This is unbelievable. So, you mean the God tell her? Go! Go and live with her and see how you will end. Go! There's no problem. You've been looking worried of late. There's no problem. Hmm. I hope so. I'm going to the market. I'll be back soon. Okay, bye.
I'm going to pick up a bottle of wine. My director is supposed to be coming. If he comes to us, I'm going to make him poke up. Okay? Don't <laughs> Please, it's Charles in. I want to see him. Charles? Yes. You want to see him? Yes. What do you want from him? You want to kill my son? You wizard! Before I open my eyes, you had better leave this place. Mama, what are you saying? I am his director in the office. I've only... You have only done God to do... You are... Oh, you don't want to go, eh? You don't want to go, eh? Oh, good evening, sir. You, you're leaving so soon, sir. Charles. So, your plan is to kill me? Kill you? After all I've done for you? I see you. I don't understand what you're saying, sir. I just went to get some wine for you to entertain you. W was it not to you that instructed your mother to kill me? She came out and almost cut my head with the matches. Really, my business on me? She even called me a wizard. My mother? Oh, God. The worst insult I've ever received. Okay, okay, I, I'm so This is very embarrassing, sir. C can you just uh, come back with me to the house? Which so house? You don't know what they're talking about. Then I won't put the motor. Please, sir. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I didn't. Excuse me, sir. I didn't tell my mom to. See my director. No, he hasn't come, has he? No, he hasn't come. You didn't see my director? No. Now where is my mother? She's in our room. She's in our room. She was Don't worry about it. Yeah. 
director? Which director? What did you tell my director? You are asking me which director? Hmm? You are asking me which director? After you've killed my father, you killed my brother, now you want to kill me? You want to kill all of us, now you will not succeed. You will not succeed. You are leaving this house. What are you talking about? Don't, don't even talk to me! Yeah, Nino! Don't even talk to me! Charles, my leaving. son, don't, don't, don't know don't, what you are doing. Don't talk to me. What have they given to you? You are leaving this house or I will throw you out myself. I must be a question. Wait! Charles, you, you don't know what you are doing. I don't know what I'm doing, eh? God. You are leaving this house. Right now. You don't. Ah, in, in God's name. In, don't call God for me. In God's name. Don't call God. Take, take, take. You don't know take, what take. you are doing. Listen to me. This will take you home to the village. Take. 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 You don't know what you are doing. Get out. Wait. Help me beg him. Get out. He doesn't Charles, know what Charles, he is Charles, doing. Charles. They have you given something to get him. Get out of this place. Just, just move away. You, don't. you are leaving. I said go. go. I said go. Take, 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 go. Go, 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 go. He doesn't know what to do. I'm going to talk to him later. He doesn't know what to do. Rejected me for no just cause. You took away my loving husband. 
You also took my son, Richard. And now, my only hope, my only hope, my only remain, remaining hope is gone. I thought I'd all my life for. And told me that. Calling me a witch. Oh God. Have I been making a mistake? Have I been making a mistake? Have I been making a mistake? Pastor, you mean you're not going to take anything? No, I'm not, because I've come here for something much more important. Well, I hope there is no problem. I hope so too myself, because um, we have noticed in church that we haven't been seeing you or your mother. So we want to know if there's any problem or not. Well, oh, okay, okay. Well, really, there, there is no problem. I have been traveling a lot of late. But I'm, I'm working on it. I'll, I'll be back to church very soon, Pastor. <laughs> uh, what about your mother? Has she also been traveling? No, no, she, she's, she's, she's no longer here with me. What happened, Pastor? I know you might not believe this, but my mother is a witch. My mother is a witch. She's been trying to kill me since. Uh, I had to send her away to the village. Is that so? Yes. What about the young lady you introduced to me as your fiancé? Oh, um, she, she's upstairs. Yes. Uh, I hope you don't mind, uh, Brother Charles. If we, you know, we just said a word of prayer with you here. No, I don't. Oh, then, yes, please. Yes, Let's please. just join hands and we sing this song to invoke the Spirit of Jesus Christ to come upon us here today. He is Lord. He is Lord. He omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient God. Yes, we thank you, Father God Almighty, for this wonderful family as represented by our brother Charles. Yes. We lift all this family before your throne room of grace. Yes. And we ask that you, Father God, become their God. Let them know you as Lord in their lives. Amen. And Amen. direct them in the paths of righteousness for your son Jesus' sake. We thank you for the authority that we have through the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Yes. That authority enables us to bind anything on earth. And whoever has shown that whatever it is that we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is loosed in heaven. Amen. Father God Almighty, we stand upon the authority of your word right now and declare that it is well with this family in Jesus' name. Oh, Father God Almighty, we come against all contrary spirits. All the forces of darkness that are arrayed against this house will come against them in Jesus' name. Please consume them in Jesus' name. And Holy Ghost fire consume them. And let them be so She's upstairs. She's dying upstairs. Please. Okay. 
case of demonic manifestation. Begin to bind her right now in the spirit. Begin to bind her in the spirit. And I come against you and I ask that you be put down in Jesus' name. And now in Jesus' name. And I command you to lose your hold. I command you to lose your hold. Oh, no, no, no. She just did this. She did this. Come on, man. Stop aside and see the wonderful work of our Lord. Oh, you foul secretary spirit, I come against you by the blood of the Lamb. And every time you know that Jesus Christ is there, I come against you right now. In Jesus' name, and I command you to be banished to the only heaven that of the universe. I break now in Jesus' name. I am the only heaven of the universe right now. Let me go. Are you surprised? This thing is gone. Are you surprised? We serve a living God. This thing is gone. We serve a living God, hallelujah. He is the God who never fails us when we call upon him, hallelujah. Oh, victory at last, brother Reese. Victory at last. Victory, victory, hallelujah. For we got it by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power mighty in the blood. Sing with me, brother Charles. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tell you, Brother Charles, I hope you've seen with your two eyes. You were about to be married to a demon spirit. That girl was an agent of Satan himself. What did you say her name was again? Okay. <laughs> Begin with. That was not the name we had when we were praying. The name that kept coming up was Princess Vikana. And that is her real name in the Marine Kingdom where she comes from. Not Funke. You see, it was she who killed your father. And your dear brother, she used her evil powers to manipulate your dreams so that you will drive away your mother. She somehow transformed herself into your mother and went to harass your director. Oh, she had only one aim, one aim only, and that was to drive away your mother in order to have clear fields to kill you. How can I think? <laughs> no, 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 please don't do that, please don't do that. God is jealous for his glory and he will share it with no man. Least of all, a common servant like me. All glory must return to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Charles, it is a long story. Sit down and let me tell you. No, 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 no. no. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, I'll tell you. You see, I had a revelation that the agents of darkness of the marine kingdom, they had scores to settle with your mother. Because they believed that she betrayed them by becoming a born-again Christian. And they feared that she would divulge their secrets to the church of the living God. You see, so they made a vow to make her life miserable. But we thank God, we thank God that all that is now over. Hallelujah. Amen. What do I do? Just give glory to God and thank Him for His wondrous words. But I strongly advise that you go to the village and fetch your mother back immediately. Reconcile. 